Welcome back to SketchUp for Architecture Students, brought to you by the School of Architecture at the University of Queensland. Now we're going to continue working on our simple house, and we're going to just work up this wall to put in two equally spaced windows on this facade and also this facade. Now part of the point of this video is to show or to demonstrate how to use um, guidelines to help set out elements more accurately and to show that you don't necessarily need to get to the desired end point immediately and that sometimes you need to make some constructions along the way. So I'm going to put two windows equally spaced along a centre line through here. So I'm in my walls layer. I'm going to find the midpoint here. I'm just going to draw a line straight down the middle through there. Now the, I'm going to equally space the windows off either side. Now I'm going to use my copy move tool. Make sure I've got control to make a copy. I'm going to offset that line 450. Make sure I get the line there. Get the move tool. And again control key 450. So that'll be the two inside edges of my window. Now I'll do my window 900 um, wide. So again, now be careful because you can see here I'm stretching the geometry rather than copying it. So always remember to hit that control key. So 900 wide there. And I'm going to then do the same over here. Control 900 wide there. Now the sill of my window is going to be a metre off the ground, so I'm going to draw myself a guideline 1,000 or 1 metre up. That'll give me an end point through here, which I can pull through and then just snap to that edge line there. Now because the line is intersecting several different lines, it doesn't make one line, but in fact makes a series of lines and surfaces. Now I'm going to pull these two lines which define the sill to give myself a window head which I will make 1500 high enter through there. So I've got a whole series of lines which has sort of broken up my surface quite a bit there. But if I just go to my eraser tool I can just nip off those construction lines that I no longer need through there to leave me with two clean surfaces that will become my window and the wall through there. Now I'm going to project these two windows on the back wall as well. So I'm going to select both of these. Remember hold the control key down or command key in the Mac to select multiple objects. Move key, again command key to make sure that um, I'm doing a copy constraining it so that it's running directly perpendicular. Now if I hold my shift key down it's going to stick or constrain it even more so it can't drift from that red axis until I can find that end line end point there so that I know those two surfaces have stuck to that surface through there. So what I've done is that I've pulled it through, constrained it, found a snap point there that those windows are going to stick to. Now to pull the windows through I'm going to use my push pull tool. Now we can simply push the surface through until it pops through. Now sometimes as you can see here you push it too far or not enough and it doesn't work so control Z to undo that. Now I know the walls are 100 thick so what I'm going to do is push it 100, enter and then we get the opening. Same there, 100 enter and with these other ones I can then just push it an exact amount so that I know I'm exactly getting a hole. Okay so there we have our holes in our wall. Now I'm going to apply a fill or a texture to the outside of this so I'm going to look for where are we going to find it I wonder if there's bricking cladding and there's some um, tan cladding or sideboard 
that we can use and I'm just going to flood that on the outside surfaces so it looks like weatherboard on the outside and on the inside I'm just going to use a simple colour so let's pick let's go a bit outrageous go for a really vibrant yellow on these sides through there okay so there we have we've pushed the we've set up the window openings by using construction lines push those through to make openings which we will in a later video insert some windows into there